Hey guys, we're back with the park. Oh my god, are we back? Something popped up on my screen, so I was like, alright. Alright, I think we're back! And I added webcam because you guys asked for it. I added it. Even though I don't get scared, so I don't know why you guys really... I don't get super scared, so... Maybe this time. Maybe this game will get scarier. So yeah, we left off on the Ferris wheel. Right, we need to find our kid. I feel like it's been a year since I played this. Sorry that it took me that long. I was just so excited for Fallout. Now that I've played Fallout, I'm at peace. Don't be I can afraid. Play other games now. I'm gonna head towards the roller coaster. We haven't headed that way yet, so I would only assume that makes sense. To do that. Callum, tell mommy where you are. All right, this isn't right. Mommy is coming, Callum. Take roller coaster ticket. I'm trying. Oh. I feel like, okay, so I saw a few of your comments and also playing the game myself. I feel like the mom and son got into like some kind of accident, whether it's on one of the rides or a car accident. Something went down. Am I a lot of camera? people idolize their children. You hear them talking about their kids and just the way they talk. Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping up piss, feeding them, little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Whoa. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Babies, really guys, they're a joy ideas. to have, apparently. And he owes oh, me God. everything. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. He owes me everything! This baby wants to live. <laughs> He'll thank his goddamn mother. Oh my god. Okay. Well, we're at the roller coaster. And, um, good news. What? <laughs> I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. She went off. Holy shit. Callum, where did you go? Because my fucking son wasn't tall enough. Oh my god. Alright, let me in. Let me in this motherfucker. Sorry if my head's outside. I'm trying not to. This is like sometimes I actually actually do record face cam, and then I get annoyed because I end up like outside. But I'm like, my posture gets like worse as I game. Like I can I I constantly Callum. like Callum. till I'm just like humped over. I'm gonna be a hunchback when I'm older. I know it because of video gaming. I seriously am. What do you? At want? least we have this roller coaster to make me feel better. The part of the roller coaster where you're you going mean? up is the worst, where you hear that. I. That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Where is Callum? The poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the poor Hey, breadcrumbs. So Love bread. Hungry. Tell me where my son is. The witch has him now. Has both of you. No happy ending here, I'm afraid. Just... just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. Oh, you can see the whole park from here. That's kind of cool. That view! That view! Ah! Okay, we got a flashback. It looks like a hospital. Wait, what did that say? I didn't see that. Well, I can go back when I uh, edit and see what it says. 
one of the good things about recording the gameplay. So you complete- Honestly, I see a lot of things- Oh, this is definitely hospital. Not safe. Can taste your dreams? Oh, uh, Callum got hit right there. Did Callum sit on a roller coaster track and get hit? Is that the kind of child I raised? Just sit on a roller coaster track? Because I might as well sit on one too if that's the case. All right. All right, the X. This this game's actually really making me want to go to Six Flags. Um, I think. Oh, we also. I Indiana has Crown Point, right? I'm in Illinois, so we have Six Flags. Callum. Wait, let me take this. Callum! How do I use it? The witch awaits. What the fuck is the witch? Press F because I thought it'd be flashlight, and she's like, "The witch awaits." Crown Point looks scary as fuck. I'm okay with Illinois and our, um, we have this coaster called Raging Bull, which is a pretty high Callum drop. Bruises on his but arm. Crown Point looks scary, Fairmarks? and that's in Indiana. Someone it's close enough so I could go there, but I don't know. Demanded really to know where he got the marks, but he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. So he has marks. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. Okay. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him and in the end, he will understand why. See, I'm not sure if something happened to the son or we're like mentally ill. Because I feel like it could be either way right now. It still has it going like I hadn't been on the Ferris wheel. So I'm just going to go on that in case. I can help so you, For some reason it didn't save that. So when I call him, this still is lighting up, so. People come into your life for a reason. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that, he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. When we met, I was sweeping the floor at Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. Cop a feel. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. We talked and laughed and eventually kissed. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, he died. What? According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Okay, so sometimes people. Baby Daddy definitely died. That was three months. At least we know that. Callum. I feel like Callum Three's died too. Fucking over. I feel like everyone died in this fucking theme park. Otherwise, we wouldn't be having this spooky experience. But I got hands still, so, eh? Come back! Okay. Callum? Callum! Alright, good. That's not lighting up anymore. This is Again, what is? Callum. No, it still is. I can help you, Callum. What am I missing right here? Okay, this is so what. They I... are going to close this place down. Doesn't surprise me. Unsafe. Close the park. Inspectors' comments. After touring the park, riding the rides, and reviewing the startling number of incidents suffered 
here in the park. It is this inspector's opinion that Atlantic Island Park should be shut down until... Okay, until Nathaniel Winter complies with all safety regulations. While I understand that there is a sensitive political relationship between Mr. Winter and the Senate, I nevertheless suggest that such political concerns... I suggest that such political considerations be set aside in condemning Atlantic Island Park. The rides at first glance appear well constructed and maintained, but the sheer number of incidents in the park during the last few years and during construction it lead me to believe that there is something wrong at the base level of construction and we should close the park and fully investigate these flaws. Twit, here is a partial list of the fatalities in the park since opening only two years ago. Family, uh, all right, family of three killed when a roller coaster cart derailed. 14 separate incidents of broken bones crushed ribs while riding the Octotron. Three suicides from the top of the Ferris wheel. A child seriously injured on the escalator. Over a dozen children reportedly missing in the house, of course, since its construction. Okay, that's creepy as fuck. One report of a drowning in the tunnel of tails. So, her baby daddy definitely died during construction, we know. But I think the son died too. Is he... It's gotta be Come one of those. Back. What the fuck do I do? What the fuck do I do? This isn't a game, Callum! Callum, I... Okay, you know what? I'm going this way. Callum, where are you? Even though it's telling me Come to go back. to the roller coaster. I went to the roller coaster. Maybe I don't need I to do it you, anymore. Callum. You can only hope. This looks shiny and pretty. Anymore, so cross your fingers, cross your booty cheeks, cross everything. Callum? Okay, look, Callum! this is the whole town was shocked by that one. Never found out who did it. Cotton candy corpse. Did I just read cotton candy corpse? Okay, of course I did. Yesterday evening, visitors to the Atlantic Island Park were shocked into and horrified by the discovery of a dismembered corpse behind the cotton candy stand. According to the local authorities, the corpse had yet to be identified. However, they have confirmed that the remains appear to be those of a child. The corpse was discovered by a group of teenagers from Innsmouth Academy who had noticed a pair of ravens tugging at something just out of sight behind the shack. Sorry, it's really hard to read. Nathaniel Winter, the owner of Atlantic Island P Park, has released the following statement. It is a true tragedy when something like this occurs, especially in a place that was destined to bring forth happiness and joy. The staff of Atlantic Island Park offer their condolences to the family and friends of the victim and will cooperate fully with authorities. Authorities. Sorry, I can't this read. Isn't a game, Callum. I'm trying to like remain within my cam's vision. I'm still able I to can read. Help you, Callum. My monitor. Come back! Okay, oh, this is open. Alright, here's cotton candy. I bet we're about to see a corpse. It's gonna, like, spook us. Examine corpse. Oh, Knew bastard. it! We did this to him. Hug that man. Alright, so, I'm. Can we go in the I store? I can help you, Callum! Callum, let me the fuck in! Callum? Callum! Why does it act like we have to go in here and yet Callum, we don't? Hey there. But do I get to go in the room? This isn't a game, Callum! I think I'm dying. Am I dying from this squirrel? See, this is why I don't play scary games. Like, I think I'm supposed to walk away from that squirrel because it's supposed to be scary. But, like, I don't know. Because it's not. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! So, can I go in? Oh my god, forget it. We're not going in. The squirrel said no. Alright, what's this? Take pills. Hey! These are mine. Forgive now. me, Callum. Forgive me, Callum. I'm getting high as fuck. Are you better off than you were four years ago? Yes, I am. Reagan, war on drugs. Don't believe anything they tell you. Fear the boogeyman. Stop picking your nose then. 
not picking my nose, I'm taking pills. What? Is a fat pig, there's daughter is hot, but his daughter is hot. They spelled daughter wrong, which is really... Fuck gravity! Not safe! Your mother! Say no to graffiti! Some kids laugh and some kids cry, but mostly children simply die. 1980s. Alright, my kind of town. Alright, at least we're high. Callum? Don't leave me here, Callum. Don't leave me here, Callum. I'm high as fuck. What the fuck that be? Hello there. Rude. Is that a flying box toaster? Don't leave me here, Callum. Hello? Oh! Uh. Callum, Don't touch me! I'm sorry! Callum... Callum, I'm sorry. I'm sorry mom got high as fuck! Oh my god, I can't take care of you anymore! Pickle- pickled punks? Forgive me, Calm. Forgive me. LSD was more important than your future. Um, Alright, I'm out. Just kidding. Oh, God, no. And that's where we died and where the game ends. We dead. Just look like pink noses. This isn't a game, Callum! This isn't a game, Callum! You better fucking- is a collage of contradictions all of its own. Millions of people die every year in car crashes. And the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Hear the children scream with joy. The bumper cars. In the sideshow alley, you can walk away with 15 cents worth of mass-produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard-earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of soiled condoms. Suicide. Uh and the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised her toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. <laughs> I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Callum, motherfucker, you better be ready to go! I can help you, The Callum. drugs were off! Everyone with me. Hello! Hello! I can't scream while also hissing. But I tried. It doesn't work. Alright, we've gotten significantly creepier in the game. Significantly creepier. Oh, hey, that's that squirrel, babe. Don't leave me! Can I see myself in the mirror? I can. Hey. Oh yeah. This is what the... Freak. The fuck? Hey. More interested in the mirror. More interested in looking at myself in the mirror than these freaks. Um, okay, show so show yourself, leave me alone has become calling for Callum. Mommy, don't hide. Wait, so we have. Mommy. Bitch, you tell me to turn around, there's not even a jump scare. How dare you? 
What have you done with How him? motherfucking dare you? I expect scary shit when you say to turn around. What kind of son did I raise? Where is my boy? Hey! Storm sucks ass. What have you done with him? This. Hey. Oh, read page, read page, read page. Incidents and I kind of dismiss them as random chance. The park works, but sometimes uh, something is interfering with its intended function. As uh, It's as though the very air in this place is corrupting the power even as I collect it. A few casualties here and there are acceptable, but when employees go on stabbing rampages, it draws attention. Yeah, it does. I'd rather not have the boys in blue either kind investigating this place too closely. It's a shame about Steve. I'd rather liked him. Steve... Steve? Thought Steve was about to creep up on my ass. Hey. <gasps> Pill? What was that? Don't make me look at it. Don't make me look at it. Look at what? What have you done with him? Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god. I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Leave me alone. Okay, continue on. Is that gonna light up? Pew? Hello? Hello? Why have you done with him? I need to sneeze. My son, you bitch. Sick of your shit. Hello? Coming down. Or pull up your pants. Can't open. Hello? Dude, we're definitely fucking nuts. There's probably not even... This theme park's After probably never real. Out, they gave me Callum back and sent me home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Home bit a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Dawn... Watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. This is their house. I'm in the woods now. Lost and afraid. This is like Callum's never room. Got any better. And this is the kitchen. That's weird. Shopping list. Milk, cheese, bread, butter, corn, potatoes, apples, fish sticks. Remember, job off Callum Electricity Bill. They must have been in a car accident. Who was that? Who was that? That was you, you dumb bitch. You knocked on the door. I'm sorry. It's not nice to call people dumb bitches, but I mean, let's be real. Hey, what am I doing with this? Alright. Exactly. Oh, let me open that. What do, is there anything I need in here? Wine? Give him to me! Give him to me! Not my son! The bottle! I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? We lost our son. We're drunk as fuck. We're high as fuck. I don't even know what we are anymore. 
Miss Mailyard, as we agreed in our meeting today, we considered you fully recovered from your illness. This letter is officially official notification that you are considered sound of mind and body and may return to work at any time. Do we death definitely mentally ill? Please note that you should discontinue any medication. Oh, dude, we've been taking the medication. We didn't give a fuck. We didn't give a fuck. We got high. We didn't care about our son. We just got high instead. I'm sorry. Now I'm in an amusement park that never ends. All right. Dunwich Emergency Services. All right. Lorraine seems to be suffering from a depression that began early in her pregnancy. Our discussions have made it obvious that these episodes stem from the grief of losing her partner, Don, who died about six months ago. There are also several unresolved issues with her father. After being kept under careful observation, we provided standard treatment for this disorder, including electroconvulsion therapy. The patient responded and made a rapid recovery. All right. Weekly follow-up. Local physician, mood stabilizers, lithium based. So yeah, we're definitely mentally ill. Lorraine has a newborn son, Callum, who was placed in foster care shortly after birth when Lorraine displayed symptoms of disorientation and depression. It's our judgment that Lorraine is fit to have her son return to her, and as long as she felt it, well, that was a mistake. Rebecca <laughs> uh, recommended after her care routine and continues her medication. We have faith that she will be an effective caregiver. Lorraine has her own mis housing and her employer, Susie, has said that she's welcome to return to her shift at the din diner. Norma Creed, a local woman, has offered to care for Callum while Lorraine works. Dude, is he just being babysat? Do we just, like, flip out and we forgot he was being babysat? Show yourself. This is actually a very serious matter. Mental illness isn't a joke. Our inquiry into the estate of Don Mr. Donald Williams has been completed. We regret to inform you that the primary beneficiary of his estate, including the life insurance settlement for accidental death, were listed as Rose Williams and Richard Williams of New York State, the deceased's parents. Our agency may contact Mr. and Mrs. Williams and explain your situation as plus as regards the birth of Donald's son Callum. Unfortunately, they were not receptive to our overtures, and they specified that without any legal proof of biological relationship, they consider you in ineligible to receive any of the monies from bitch give me my money show yourself show yourself show me the money the fuck you mean the fuck is my money no wonder I'm fucking psycho single mom working my ass off here husband died oh wait the store opened don't leave me Take two tablets by mouth. Zoloft also Don't okay. Leave me. Probably after Zoloft, antidepressant. Lorraine, things aren't right between us at the moment. I know. I want to try and explain it. I think it is because I am so far from home and I'm working so hard. Every day working at the park, it gets worse like a spring inside my mind, winding tighter and tighter and tighter. When we go for drinks after work, it gets a little better. The guys. Relax and we laugh and we're, we're good people again. I don't want to come home to you without being in my right mind. But when this job is done, we re we need to get out of this place. We need to go back to the city where I don't feel like this anymore. I love you, Donald. P.S. I was thinking about names for boys and girls. I like Callum for a boy. And Emma if it's a girl. Oh my god. Could you imagine being pregnant though and like losing your significant other? Wait, we're in this bedroom again. God, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. We're fucking going crazy. We're wilting. Leave me alone! Alright. Antidepressants. No. Callum! Remember, take the pills. Zola. Follow up with Dr. Spencer, organized babysitter for Callum. Callum, let me in there, you motherfucker! Fucking come in through the fridge! Oh, yeah! Examine that shit. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Oh, my God. That's like... See, the chicken is, um, rotting now, almost? It's like she just completely maybe forgot about the son and was just neglecting him. Got him taken away? I'm guessing now. What have you done with him? Okay, then. 
Thank you, William, for the new watch. It is very nice. It has made me a happy carrot. We fucking... We're nuts. We're nuts. Alright, so it's the same notices. We just... Alright, this isn't gonna open. This is gonna open. Here we are again. Stop! The rooms keep getting more and more distorted. Who was that? So wilting, there's more and more pills. Given to me. What have you done with them? Where is my boy? I'm a horrible mother. Where is he? Hello. Lorraine, I received your letter and I'm quite surprised. You ran off with your father all of those years ago, then disappeared off the edge of the map, and when I finally tracked you down, refused to answer any of my relatives. I didn't run away. Dad took me. And now I have another family now and another life. Your father was a horrible man, and I regret the years that I wasted with him. I truly did, but, um... I don't know. You were his girl's never really mind. Still... I wouldn't. I would have fought for custody and run away with him. It broke my heart, but I need to go on living. Broke my heart, but I need to go on living. I can't let you back into my life without picking open old wounds. I'm sorry, Lane, but I just can't do it. Maybe one day it will be easier and I can meet Callum, but not yet. I am not ready to forgive you. Please don't contact me again, Karen. Is that like a sister? Show yourself. Alright, so we're just heading to this exit. Man. Our inquiry into the state of... Okay, we know that. Do we just, like, fall further and further into depression, I'm guessing? Okay. <laughs> All right, babies. Don't leave me. Me and my babies. Woo! That must be her and the husband, the baby daddy. Not. I don't know if he's a husband. He's salmon. Kill him! Bitch, that's rude as fuck. Let me in. Fucking bitch. I love... Alright, it's signed Callum at the bottom, I think. Let me the fuck in! What are you doing to your mom? I'm obviously high as fuck on antidepressants. I took way too many. Where am I? What's going on? Am I sad? Am I not? Callum! Make me see. I think we maybe we killed the baby. I don't know. Some shit went down. Now we can go in here. Alright. Oh, Bitch, let me the fuck in! I'm getting pissed. Read letter. It see it's getting more and more distorted. That's still fucked. Show yourself. What have you done with him? I'm a horrible mother. Alright, let's keep going downstairs. Don't make me look at it. Hello? I mean, obviously not hello. They're dead. 
They did. <laughs> Why even say hello? Alright, never mind. I'm gonna walk away. At least it wouldn't have been awkward because they don't realize. <laughs> it seems like we're getting crazier and crazier as we go through this haunted. Um, it's like a. Well, it's, the ride is like the haunted house, but I don't think it actually is. Okay. Here we are. Normal -ish. stories are told again and again, and from their shape, we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old Hansel and Gretel. We got it. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch, but I am, aren't I? Kids broke in today. It has been so long since I heard laughter. So very long. I took one of them. I couldn't help myself. It was fast. The others didn't notice. I liked hearing him laugh. This boy from the academy. I put him on a slab. I tickled him until he couldn't breathe. My machines came to life, roaring in time to his gasps and shrieks. I think this is the light. The change brought in me by the machines is not yet complete. There must be other children I can lay on my slab. <laughs> Where are the children I can lay on my slab? Children! Children! Slab I have for you! Alright, it must be on the other side. Examine book. Hansel and Gretel. Alright, we can go through here now. Leave me alone! It's very hard to see. There's nothing to see. Right there. Is this where we came in? Hello. Oh, cutscene. Cal. Cal? Uh, Boom, 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 mom! Cthulhu shirt! Mom! She's about to stab them motherfuckers and she, oh, she got a knife there with a little lizard hand on her face. What the fuck is that? Dulu and mommy put you to sleep. <laughs> Worst mom ever. Alright, I'll forgive her. For now. Did we go crazy and like stab our son? Is that the point of this game is that we went crazy and stabbed our son? Because I'm pretty sure that's like the fuck just happened. I mean it happens to the best of us, but Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Or we just lost our keys. Looks like we're being investigated by the police because we stabbed our son. Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. I ain't see nothing. I ain't see nothing. I ain't see shit. Nothing. No Cthulhu. In mind, I always return to Atlanta. No knife. Park. Thank you. 
Okay, that's the end. I don't think the sun died in the park. I think what happened, what I got from this, it was an enjoyable little game. It was cheap, so it was a quick game. That makes sense. What I got from this is the husband or baby daddy, I'm not sure if they were married, died while working in the park. She went psycho, became super depressed while having the baby. Baby was birthed and she's still super depressed, uh, so she just kind of went crazy. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section what you thought. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.